What's up, y'all? It's Timmy, and this is part two of the Bring the High School Friends into the Alaska Wilderness video, so let's get into it. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. It is super flat light. Uh, Dylan's first time in a sled, going up Dog Sled Pass. <laughs> Pretty steep. You can't tell, but the big climb's up there. <laughs> He's got it. As long as he, as long as he goes fast, it'll be fine. Right, Meso's right. <laughs> first steep hill climb. Meso, He's coming. Meso. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> One more bump. Keep going. Woo! Nice. <laughs> it's super good snow to ride on right now. Stay this way. Careful, dude. He's gotten the steep now. Nice, buddy. Nice, dude. <laughs> How'd that feel? That's solid, dude. That wasn't bad at all. Got that e-brake yeah. on? What's that? Got the e-brake on? I don't even know how that pull the brake in and send the lever out we are chilling here up on top of a pass in hatcher pass if you can't tell it's super flat light out it's a flat light if you don't know it basically means there's no definition to the snow you can't see if it's a hill or a hole or a flat it's just everything just looks white everywhere so we're up here on top of the pass chilling and we're gonna wait for the weather to pop i just flew the drone up as you guys saw and it looks like there's what we call a sucker hole on the other side of this mountain so it'll be blue for a little bit so we'll try to take advantage of that and uh go do some snowboarding as soon as that gets better tuna salad sandwich the boys got a little lapping even though it's hard to see i wonder if they're doing canadian style nice yeah we're dropping down the back side of the pass here we go here we go yeah. You want to go behind everybody? Sure, why not? Hey, pushed in means the brake's not on, right? Yeah, like squeeze it. It just squeeze it and unlock. You can tell if it's locked. Looks like we got our sucker hole. Clear weather coming in so we can kind of see. So we're going to go for it. Hold up, Mesto. So we got a really big hill coming up off the back side of this pass. A little bit flat light, so we're going we're gonna to take it safe and creep down. Meso and I are up here on top of the mountain. About to shred on down to the boys. And uh, I haven't been on a snowboard or skis in a year and a half, so I'm super nervous about the knee, but we'll give it a go. And it's on a brand new board. Pretty stoked about it. Doing a little review after we test it out enough, but here we go. Well, ice build up. Oh yeah, those are your corner bars. Huh? Might not have anything adjusted right either. It's gonna take me. I've never put bindings in a board. I just kind of threw them on it. Guessed. Feels funky. <laughs> Ugh. Ice build up. Whoa. Oh, this feels crazy. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> I gotta wax this board. 
Oh yeah. Well, this came from up there. Made it down. I feel like I forgot how to snowboard. The knee made it. Feeling a little bit pissy, but feeling all right. Just gonna get used to it. <laughs> yes, sir. How was it? Tiring. Yeah. But just feeling that knee. It's good. The snow's good. That was an awesome run. Made it down in one piece. Like I was saying, I haven't snowboarded or skied in a year and a half because of my knee and the broken back deal. That made me feel new again. The flat light's obviously not helping. I can't see, but made it down. I'm down here. Um, the board is sweet. I found out I totally have to wax it. It wasn't sliding at all. Um, super sticky right now, so I'm going to do that. I want to give a shout out really quick to OGSO, the guys that make this board. They're a company based in France, and this is the Delirium Dive. 162 length so pretty long but good for powder and if you can't tell it's a split board so basically the snowboard will split in half the bindings twist around and then you can use it as skis to go up the mountain but the main reason i get the split board is because number one i hate snow machining and ski boots and number two i can speed fly with this thing so you can't really speed fly with a snowboard you can but it's not ideal but this snowboard will split in half to become skis, which means I can speed fly paraglide with it. So I'm stoked in that. Anyhow, that's the method to the madness. Uh, the boys are coming down. Matt's gonna go get some hot dog sticks. Survivor Steve over here. Getting a little fire going. We're gonna make some hot dogs on a stick. How do you cook up at the dog on the stick? How do you cook it on the stick? Fire with me, bro. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Yeah, hey, man. Thanks for doing all the work. Yeah, you like help contribute to the hot dogs. Oh, you wanna see something really crazy? Check this out. This car got freaking buried in an avalanche. Crazy, look at that. That sucks. It's like a new rig, too. Looks like the airbags went off. I do not know what happened. I'm assuming they parked up here and a big avalanche happened or something. As you can tell, the sunlight got really nice. There's Mason snowboarding down to the trees, getting some laps in. I kind of want to jump it, but I'm going to give it to Steve. We're going to jump this car, because why not? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he can jump that car. Yeah, just send it kind of dip down and boop. Stupid human tricks with Steve-O. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, the sun popped and uh, super nice out. Or if you could just plug down, it's probably all cliffed out down there. Denali right there. Woo. I'll get it slide right there. We're almost back in the truck. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. The light is just really flat, so uh, it's kind of sketchy. We just can't see to ride. Down we go. Go. <laughs> Going super 
first. It was just beginning to look scary. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. Um, yep. Y'all trying to ride my Polaris. <laughs> Like, yeah, you can take Tim's sled. I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> Not up here. Uh, <laughs> Looks like you just came to rest on it, though. It's fine. No, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe I'll roll it out of That's it, actually. I think with enough of us, we might be able to get it yeah. out. Yeah. If we can bump it forward one foot, we can roll it. Is the track sunk or can we pull it backwards? No, it's not the track's sunk. not sunk. Really? We just need to get it backwards a yeah, little bit. Yeah, the four dudes just pull it backwards yeah. and get it. Back, hit it in reverse and we pull it backwards and yep. we should be able to get it back. I mean, something's going to happen. That's how this works. Everybody knows it. Four dudes are going to try to pull this thing backwards. See what happens. Y'all ready? Stuck house life. Yeah, it's more like it. We might just be able to pull the thing backwards. I feel like that track's going to sink. Track will help. You guys get a good stomp in? Ready? Yep. One, two. Right, hold on one sec. Another one of those. Yep. Oh, here goes the back again. <laughs> Y'all ready? Yep. yep. One, two, yeah, now I can just roll it. I mean, pull it around. Just drive it out of there. Right into the other tree. <laughs> I think we're going to go head back to the cabin. comes Matt and Dylan two up coming in hot <laughs> you can't tell I'm sure this doesn't look that steep but it's uh it's steep oh it's getting all wonky all right here they go take two old Mateo coming in hot <laughs> <laughs> that is a hill here comes Mason as long as he keeps his speed up. So Mason's still learning how to counter steer, but as long as you go fast in the steep uphills, it improves your odds. Who's <laughs> gonna go faster? Faster, 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 faster. Canadian technique I've ever seen. It's hard actually, but then you can actually steer. Well, today's report, one hit tree, two lost cell phones. That's right, two. Matt and Dylan both lost their phone. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Me and Steve are next. Well, there you have it. That's a wrap, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, uh, smash that like button down there and subscribe to the channel if you want to. And uh, see you in the next one. Peace, y'all.